of the year on the number on that number twenty nine between Lunetta, a career best fourth ahead of um, down play, down in fifth place. Ang Hel rounding out the top fifteen was no, uh, top fifteen was Noah Detweiler. A little bit further back, you've got Sharil Rosen all the way down back there on the grid. And rounding out the final spots on the grid are Gordon Hamada and eyes are to the lights for the only time this weekend. And it's a good start from the middle of the front row. Asman looks as if he's going to take the whole shot, but uh, for a little bit further, we've got a rider unfortunately stalled on the grid. But it is Asman then who takes the whole shot a couple of riders up that's Buazri up the inside looking third and that's really really unfortunate for the rider there that's the uh, the number 90 it's hassling them every and here comes Rueda we're not even a lap down and he's already gone from sixth to first carved his way through the pack now it's all down to Asman it's all down to Voigt they need to bike back at him right now because they know Asman has gone side by side he this is so important he needs to be able to snap back now Looks like um, Asman, may have, yeah, Asman has done it, and Pekeras is now into the third spot, but Voice baiting back at Pekeras. Oh, Roda. look at Farioli! Farioli out of nowhere takes, <laughs> wow, into third place. It's turn number one. Farioli is having a bit of this here today in Portimao, but Rueda snaps back at Asman, not quite late in the breaks. Cruces pushing Voigt out, someone off in the background as well, chopping, changing every which way you look, but for now it's still Asman and Lisa Reyes on the sick racing for the corner, but Farioli from third to move. first pushes Rueda way down wide, so Fabio Willi from 7th on the grid, on the number 7, he now leads the race on the yellow helmet. And how, well, we've got chopping and changing four abreast into turn at number one. David Alonso slots into second, just behind Rueda, who retakes the lead. Fastest lap of the race for David Salvador. We, we can't, <laughs> the timing monitors here in the comms box can't even keep up, so fastest lap of the race. There is Salvador there. ...of races. I was just, I was just thinking, Sorry, may, maybe that that gap at the front. I don't know if it's just my eyes, but it looks a little bit smaller from Voigt to Rueda. I could be completely wrong. It was 1.5 at the start of this lap, but it looks like maybe it's just a little bit smaller. Than we don't see him a lot, obviously, because we're looking at the, this battle for second. But if he's doing that a lot, that could go. That could. Uh, Eventually, if he goes out, if it's three times, isn't it? If he goes out three times, that could be a long lap penalty for Hope. So carved the way through to the front of the group. Alonso in the number 80 machine ahead of Salvador on the blue, yellow, and white machine. Now taking second and third spot. Every will have hindered his drive out on the front straight, so he's lost a few positions there. But we know how strong he is on the brakes. David Salvador as well, and it's so, so close through turn one. Brilliant stuff from all these guys, but I think it's Cruces now that's made his way up into P2. He's not shy of the move. He's not at all. He's, and he's, once again, it's on his best mate, David Alonso. I'm just saying it's his best mate because they've been stuck together this entire race of uh, David Salvador and David Alonso on number 80 and 38 machines. Voigt looking up the inside of Cruces doesn't make it stick, just holding a way down to Noah Detweiler in 16th place. So a bit of a moment. It's a bit like the group we're watching here. The group behind have caught the pair, trying to look for a way through. Lay on the brakes. These guys <laughs> are very, are trying so, so hard to try. Low-powered machinery. Cruzes now having a little look up the inside of Mikeras. Doesn't manage, or oh, just about manages to make that move stick. He does. So brilliant move there from the number 11, Cruzes. 25 years to pick up five wins within one season. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've got a class, it's kept green, and you've also got Pekeras out in the green as well. You don't want to be doing that too many times. It chops the front wheel off of Salvador, fanning out as they come across start finish line. Four laps remaining. This is starting to get a little bit heated now. Three abreast in the turn number one. Who is it oh, going to be? Asman. Voigt from Farioli, and I think it was Asman. It's Asman, but now Farioli looking menacing on that number seven machine. What can he do about the number 29 just ahead of him? That is Harrison Voigt, the Australian on the sick 58. Uh, machine, of course, the team ran by Paolo Simoncelli. We are watching the battle for second. Voigt still leads it, but Alonso now finds his oh, way Alonso. into third. Great move there. And Asman tried to find his way around the outside of Fabioli, but couldn't make his stick. David Alonso up the inside of Voigt can do it, but now Salvador finds his way through past Asman. And you've got Pekeras in the back of that, around the outside of Cruces. That'll be him. Um, so he's a writer that's Pekeras. getting the. But yeah, Angel Pequeras was strong. This FIM Finetwork Junior GP World Championship race. It's Salvador that now hits the front of this battle, the battle for second place. GP race, the only race of the day for these guys. And they're oh, four of us, and oh, there's a oh, massive oh. moment there. And, oh, and Alonso goes down. Harrison Voigt, is he going to Oh, he's, he goes down as well. So that's all, two of them down, Alonso and Harrison Voigt down and out of the race. And that leads now Cruces, who's going to be, who's leading this battle for second. 
haunting, but oh, fingers crossed, hopefully those two will be okay. That was a very fast crash into turn at number one. I thought and, uh, for a minute that Foyt was just going to make it, but then... 7.2 seconds. Asman's looking for a third podium of the year. is looking for his first ever podium. But up the end said, Asman, go for second. And Khrushchev's looking over at him, side by side as they go through the left-hander, fast Whoa. left-hander, as man, what a move round the outside of Khrushchev's. He's now into second place. Can Khrushchev respond? For the final time, 99, Jose Rueda takes his fifth win of the season. Brilliant stuff from the 99, but who's going to take second? It's going to be Asman. Asman takes second ahead of Khrushchev's. Khrushchev's gets his first podium. Asman gets his first podium, not in Catalonia. Him out. Eddie O'Shea will be happy with P9, but he will have had his sights set on the podium. Further down then, rounding out the top 10 was Colin Viallo, who took a win back out in Jerez, ahead of Nikolov Carraro, um, Marcos Ruda and Noah Detweiler, rounding out the top 13 with Aditama and Morosi, rounding out the top 15 of the race here in Portimao. So, an incredible race we've had now at Jerez. So, Cormac Buchanan bringing his first race in the, the Junior GP back home in P20. So a battle down to the line if, it, if they'd have stayed on. But there it is in the championship, an 81 point lead it now is. I think at the top 10 is Colin Vaya, the Dutch rider who obviously got his win last time out in Jerez. Eddie O'Shea, I think at the top 20 then is Alessandro Morosi with Lambias and Cheryl just ahead of him in that championship. So. Uh